All right, the point of this video is to learn how to calculate the concentration of a sample by doing a titration. So here we have all the data necessary to do that. So the title of our titration table is titration of 20.0 milliliters of hydrochloric acid with 0.150 moles per liter of sodium hydroxide solution. So I'm just going to diagram what we've got set up here. We have a sample. The sample is found in the Erlenmeyer flask. And that's where our unknown is going to be in this particular example. And we've got in here our unknown is hydrochloric acid. What we know about it is that we have 20.0 milliliters of this sample. What we don't know is the concentration. That's the whole point of doing this, to figure out the concentration of this hydrochloric acid solution. So that means we must have a barrette here. So there is our barrette, there's our little valve. We can open and close that and we can add the titrant. The titrant is the solution that's in the barrette. So the titrant is in here. And the titrant in this case is sodium hydroxide. Now what we know about the titrant is we know its concentration. 0 0.150 moles per liter. We also know the volume, because the volume of the titrant is the volume of the sodium hydroxide that is added that's recorded in this table. So in the first trial, we started with the initial barrette reading, initial barrette reading up here of 0.2 milliliters, and we finished somewhere down here at 15.3 milliliters. So we know that 15.1 milliliters was added in our first trial. We repeated the procedure starting at the same place where we left off. We left off at 15.3, so we started at 15.3, and in this case, 15.2 milliliters was added, and that left us at 30.5, so that's where we started our last trial, and we get 15.0. Now, as luck would have it, or just for the purpose of this video, we only needed three trials because we got three results within 0.1 milliliter of each other. The highest was 15.2, the lowest was 15.0, so it's pretty clear that the average here is going to be 15.1. To figure out the average, if, if they weren't quite so close, we would go 15.1 plus 15.2 plus 15.0, and divide that by 3, and we get an answer of 15.1 milliliters. So that means that the volume of our titrant here is 15.1 mils. So that's the information we need in order to do our calculation. Next thing we're going to need to do our calculation is the balanced chemical equation. So we are adding hydrochloric acid, which is HCl AQ. Adding to that is the sodium hydroxide, the titrant. So we've got the sample and we're adding the titrant to the sample. We are going to get a um, double replacement reaction here. In a double replacement reaction, we're going to have sodium and the hydrogen switching places. So that's going to give us products of, well, the sodium is going to go with chloride, one positive charge for sodium, one negative charge for chlorine. So they balance out nice and easily, NaCl, and then the H is going to go with the OH. We could write that as HOH, or we could write it as H2O, doesn't matter which way, H2O liquid. And that chemical equation is balanced. Uh, we have two hydrogens on this side, two hydrogens on the other side. Um, we have one chlorine here, one chlorine here, one sodium, one sodium, one oxygen, one oxygen. So it's all balanced. So that means the coefficients in front of each entity in this reaction uh, is a 1, which means it's going to make the calculation relatively straightforward. So the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out exactly how much sodium hydroxide, how much of this right here we have added. And we know how much we've added. When we say how much, we are, we are we're referring to number of moles. So we need to know the number of moles of the NaOH. So, number of moles of NaOH, OK, 
can be calculated using the formula. And I'll write the original formula over here. Concentration equals number of moles divided by volume. But we are going to be solving for number of moles, which means I multiply by volume on both sides of the equation. Volume cancels with volume. We're left with number of moles is equal to the volume times the concentration. So we want the volume of sodium hydroxide times the concentration of sodium hydroxide. The volume of sodium hydroxide right here, 15.1 milliliters. However, I'm going to convert this into liters because the concentration is in moles per liter. So I need that to be in liters. So 15.1 milliliters, I divide it by 1,000. I get 0 0.0151 liters times my concentration of 0 0.150 moles per liter. My liters are going to cancel. I'll be left with moles. And let's just do this on the calculator. So 0 0.0151 times 0.15. And I get an answer of, in moles, 0 decimal 0, 0, 0.0265 moles. Now I'm not going to round that off. I'm going to keep all those digits because I'm going to need to use the, that number of moles in my next calculation. I know that one mole of sodium hydroxide combines with one mole of hydrochloric acid. Therefore, 0 0.002265 moles of sodium hydroxide is going to combine with exactly that same number of moles of hydrochloric acid, which means my number of moles of hydrochloric acid, because it's one mole and one mole combined, one here and one here, I know that this is also going to be 0 0.002265 moles. So I only need one more step to solve this problem. The whole point was to find the concentration of hydrochloric acid, concentration of HCl. So that's going to be equal to the number of moles divided by the volume. And the number of moles, I already know, it's right here. So it's 0 0.002265 moles divided by the volume of the sample that I used in the first place. And the volume of the sample that was used in the first place was 20.0 milliliters. That was given in the original statement at the top of the titration table. So again, we need to convert this to liters because we want an answer in moles per liter. So 20.0 milliliters is 0 0.0200 liters. So we use our calculator for this. And I get an answer of 0 0.11325 moles per liter. And now I have to ask myself the question, how many significant digits do I need for my final answer? Well, I have got three places to look for significant digits. 20.0 has three digits. 0 decimal 150 has three digits. And I am accurate to three digits on all of those. So we want three significant digits. So to write this answer with three significant digits, I would just write this as 0 0.113. Moles per liter. And that would give me my final answer. That was the whole point in doing the problem is to come up with concentration of hydrochloric acid.